I'll be grinding this corundum piece of rock. I don't know exactly if it's ruby, if it's sapphire, but as I'm going to grind, I'll see what color it comes up and we'll see if it's a ruby or a sapphire. I'll start off using the 250 micron flex diamond abrasive. I run this usually at a higher speed with some water. So I just dip some water, run it. I can even put water on the disc. And I'm going to start grinding. And I can see it's a, it looks like a ruby. It looks like this is turning out to be a ruby. Okay. So by rubbing my finger on it, I can see that it has a purple hue and this is a ruby. Now, I'll go to the next step on the micro finishing diamond. I'll just jump to a medium grade and again you can run this at medium speed putting some water on the disc. You see how friendly it is you can touch it and I'm going to hold it right up against it and sometimes I like to switch the pattern so if I was grinding in this direction I'll grind like this so I can remove some of those file marks so it's like a little cross grinding. And you kind of want to make sure you're now when I grind some of the corners start becoming sharp so what I like to do is I kind of tilt it a little bit and round over those sharp edges same around. Let me add some more water. Now I don't need to use too much water so there's not too much of a mess. And we're already at this look because the Ninja Disc creates a nice cooling effect. So I'm at this grade and I'm just going to jump to, from the medium I'll jump to the very fine. I like to jump a step. And here's the very fine. As you can see they're used. They have a long lifespan if you use them wisely. So I just add some water. And I'll go ahead and sand it down. You know, don't be afraid to utilize the whole part of the disc. You know, not just working on the edge, but you can follow and use the whole part of the disc all the way in. It has plenty of diamonds. And as you can see, we're already getting a nice shine at this stage. Let me see one more time. There we go. And from here, I'll jump to the premium diamond. Now some of mine are quite used. Look at this one. Usually they're nicely stamped. This is my collection. So this is usually step one, 3000 3, grit. And these are very important that you run it at a slow speed. So when it just barely clicks, 
I kind of bring it down. Add water. Lots of water because the diamonds are so fine. You just want it to give it a nice polish. And it's just going to give that nice polish right here. Do you see that? And then as you go finer and finer, I'll jump to the step to 8,000. And again, look how used my diamonds are. They have a nice long lifespan. So I'll just hold it right here and give it a nice polish. And it's really nice. One woman said it's like a rocking chair. You just rock it back and forth. And it's true. You just kind of teeter it back and forth. And you can watch the progress right through the wheel. And I'll jump to step three, which is the 50,000 grit. Here you go. And again, slow speed with some water. Oh, that's a little too fast. And I'll just give it a nice little polish. And you'll see, this will give it a really nice high shine. Right. Okay, here we'll end with the cerium oxide. And this is our final step. This is just like the cerium oxide you can buy that's in powder form, but 3M has created it in a disc form with their patented technology Trizac pattern so that you get an even distribution of cerium oxide. And actually that's a little too fast. And you'll see a nice little white slurry discharge off of the wheel. And that means the cerium is doing its magic. And this is great for touch-ups if you have fine, fine little scratches and just want to touch up a stone to bring back its brilliance. The cerium is a great way to do that. And here we go. Now, you'll see the corundum has some impurities in it, but as you can see, we've polished right over those, and you've gotten a beautiful lab-quality high polish.